Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Telstar Basketball. We're here for the uh, Telstar Middle School Varsity Boys versus the Darigo Cougars on January 3rd, 2019. I'm Wayne Howe, and uh, with me coming up with a snack is the Jewel Clark. I got crackers. Ooh. <laughs> So the JVs had a good game and uh, won, won theirs, so we'll see how the uh, Bar City can do. And I've got to learn 10 new names. <laughs> so out there we have Max McClure, James Bastiani, Tristan Pelletier, Keenan Sparks, and somebody else. Um, Gavin Williams. <laughs> no, we have a backcourt violation. There goes ball on the side. Basket is good, and there was a foul. The foul is on Max McClure. And basket's good. There we go with the early 3-0 lead. Delatier brings it up over half court. To a Sparks. We have a jump ball, and it'll be Darago's possession. Mastriani uh, up with the... Let's say... Uh, up with the steal before he get called for traveling. Rebound McClure. Over to Pelletier. Goes for the layup. Off the rim. And here come the Cougars. The layup is good. Five to nothing. There we go. Pelletier with a long three. Tremendous log. Ball is saved by Williams, but it goes to the Darigo player. Rebel, Rebel ball. So there we go with a 5 nothing lead early in the first quarter. Pelletier out front. Over to McClure. To Sparks. Back to McClure. To Sparks. Makes a move to the basket. And here come the Cougars. And another layup. 7 0. Mastriani out front. Gives to Pelletier. Nope. Sorry, right. that was the Sparks. His pass is uh, picked off. Go. 
Rebound Williams. Well, it's here. I got Spox. <laughs> and that is the Rebels' first basket. Keenan Sparks. 72, five minutes left, first quarter. Two. Number 45 for Dara goes cleaning up all the rebounds. Mastriani to Williams to McClure. <coughs> My voice changing. Nice move, McClure, but it doesn't uh, doesn't fall. Knocked away, out of bounds by Mastriani. Eleven two, Dara go by nine. Pelletier, back to Sparks. Mastiani into Williams, turns and fires in. Gavin Williams. 11-4, Rebels down seven. Basket is good. Fouls on McClure, I think it's his, his second one. And it is. So, number 35, Oliver Barrett goes in for him. Yeah, you probably know these names better than I do right now. 14 to four, Ripples down 10. 252 left first quarter. Pelletier, back out to Sparks. Mastriani. Back to Sparks, Pelletier, Sparks. Pelletier drives. Shot attempt was by uh, Barrett. Another layup. 16-4, Cougars. Coach O'Connor calls a timeout with the Rebels down 12 early in this uh, game. Water's gone pretty fast, though. There's only been two fouls called. Yeah. So there's just been a lot of actual back and forth. I don't know how many eighth graders there are out on this team because we don't have, of course, the listing. 
you probably have an idea of who may be in your grandson's class. Well, Mastriani's got to be one. Yes, and uh, Oliver Barrett. How about, how about McClure? Seems like I've seen him before, but. Mastriani loses it out of bounds. Here we go to inbound. Yeah, number 45, uh, he's uh, been good on the layups and good on the rebounds. Pelletier. Williams puts it up, that's good. I'm not sure if he saw the basket or not before he released it, but we don't care. 18 to six, Rebels down 12, less than 40 seconds, first quarter. Knocked out of bounds by Sparks. Gotta pay attention to that guy though. They were kind of turning around and ball just gets lobbed to him. Jewel, it was a fast quarter. Very fast. Bad news, Jewel, is that uh, the Rebels are down 22 to 6 at the end of the first quarter. Eight baskets. Yeah, that's eight baskets holding the other team, too. So. Yeah. And nobody's been able to hold number 45 yet. Okay, I think uh, Coach has uh, some new players going in, so I'll have to learn all these new names again. Yep. Isaac Greenberg's going in. Wyatt Lilly, number four. Gavin Martin, number 21. Okay, McClure is back in. He had his two fouls. Yeah, Riley Head, number 24. Clue with a shot. Desperation almost went though. Martin with the ball out front to McClure. To 
Greenberg. To Lily, to Martin. To Lily, puts up a long one off the rim. Should be white ball. I think it was off the deer. Go ahead. Twenty-two six. Still six thirty-four left. Second quarter. The Florida inbound. The Lily. Martin. The Greenberg. Hedden, back to Lilly, to Hedden, to Greenberg. Nothing but net. Unfortunately, it was the outside of the net. Rebound McClure. It goes Lilly. That was a good play by the Darigo player, number 21. And Greenberg uh, fouls number one, who will go to the line to shoot two. Martin to inbound to Lilly. Greenberg back to Lilly. What's, what's that? McClure over to Hedden. Off the rim. Lilly. Oh. Wyatt Lilly with a three. Martin comes up with the ball. He's going in for a layup. Stops. <laughs> well, I guess it's mostly ball. Wyatt Lilly makes a steal, lays it up, and it's good. 22 to 11. Rebels have cut the lead to 11. There we go, coach. Calls the timeout. He's got big number 45 going back in. Yeah. I think more than he is going back in. Yeah. Well, I think uh, Coach O'Connor's putting it back his satters, at least some of them, too. Yeah, that second group was more matched than the uh, first group's IRA at the moment. However, the Rebels weren't getting any shots the first part of the, the first quarter either. They had some shots and they just they weren't going in. Yeah, they, they looked like good opportunities. You know, you're not going to stop number 45, but you've got to at least try to match it. Okay, so we do have the uh, starting Rebels back in the game now. Williams, Fox, Pelletier, McClure, and Mastiani. Ball picked off by McClure, gets out to Pelletier. No one says it's pocket picked, but Sparks comes out with it. Williams. Oh. Yeah. That one could have gone. Yeah, 45 is not only tall, it's 
He, he can, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he and number 31 uh, make a good a couple of big guys out there, uh, the rebounds, the shooting. I would have almost called it on 31 because he was really thrashing around there with the ball, kind of like um, instigating some stuff. But anyway, that's uh, the third foul on McClure. Oh, nice move. They faked them all out. They didn't fake out the camera guy, they don't, did it? No. Surprisingly. Pelletier goes in. Sparks. Uh, that's, uh, not a good pass, not with you big number 45 in there waiting in the bushes. So say he tried that same one again. It wasn't quite as good a fake that time. 28 to 11, 243 left before halftime. We really haven't seen Derrigo shoot too many, uh, mostly their rebounds and layups and in nice percentage shots in close. Mastiani in for Gavin Williams, off the rim. Rebound Mastriani. Williams, Mastriani. They're all close. They just don't. Foul goes on Oliver Barrett, who stuck in the game somehow, and I didn't realize it. Went in for McClure. <laughs> Rebound Mastriani out to Sparks. Belletier back to Mastriani. Drives in, puts it up, off the glass. James Mastrioni with his first two of the game. 30 to 13. Testing, testing. Yeah, we're back. I think uh, the battery's going dead on the microphone because that, that's flashing. So uh, at the end of this quarter, we'll, uh, well, at half.
Second half action for the Telstar Middle School boys varsity team versus the Darago Cougars on January 3rd, 2019. Wayne Howe and Jewel Clark bringing you this game. With for, sound. With the sound again, yeah. <laughs> our batteries keep uh, going on us, so. Uh, with no warning. Well, they probably flash a light, but I wasn't watching the light on the microphone here, so. Oh. So. That, that's why Jewel has the headphones, so when she can't hear me, we know that there's something wrong. Okay, the Rebels have the work cut out for them, down 32 to 13. And Erigo will have the ball to start with. So we have Mastriani, McClure, Sparks. Okay. Williams and... Uh, Galatea. Forty five is a big, strong kid. He can also dribble. shot off the rim and here come the Cougars can he chase it down nope not enough time we rebel ball Williams to inbound Pelletier looking around Out to McClure, out front. To Williams. Mastriani. Pops it, off the rim. Well, I think uh, Derek goes taking three shots and getting three baskets this quarter. Sparks for two. 38 15. Rebel ball. Williams to inbound. Bellatia. Pelletier with a shot. Number 45 powers it up and almost steals the inbounds pass. Box turns, shoots, around the ribbon, out. Box with the steal, eventually. Damastriani puts it up. The layup is good. Wow. Coast to coast layup. 42-17, there we go. Pelletier with a long shot, off the rim. I uh, want that to go in. Rebound, Mastriani. Sparks. 
Rebound Williams, McClure to the ball. Over to Sparks. Mastriani with a shot. Foul goes on Keenan Sparks. And we have a whole new team in for the Rebels. 42 to 17, Darigo, 329 left in the third quarter. Martin goes all the way in for a layup. Oliver Barrett uh, on the out of bounds line with the ball. Martin gets the rebound, puts it up, no good. Coach calls for a timeout, 32nd. 46-17, all there we go. Trying to find something to say. That foul will go on Bar Barrett. Send number 21 to the line to shoot two. Both shots are good, 48-17. Lily over to Martin. Back to Lily. To Martin. Drives, puts it up, no good. Well, I guess that's one way to do it for Barrett to throw it off the back of your player, then get the ball back again. <laughs> it worked. Oh. 
Riley Hinton comes down with the rebound and he pushes it up over midcourt. Out to Greenberg, oh, over his head, but he corrals it. Lily to Greenberg, back to Lily. And Barrett's in and out. And Gavin Martin uh, with that foul. Both players went down on the floor. 106 left to the third quarter. All there ago. Second one is good. 49-17, Cougars in the lead. Greenberg, Lily with the rebound. Martin to inbound. Comes out to Lilly, to Greenberg, back to Lilly. Shot, off the rim. Jump ball, and it'll be Rebels. Martin puts it in, lays it up. Oh. That's the uh, three third quarter score. Yes. Unfortunately for us. Well, that quarter, the Rebels got outscored uh, 19 to 4. by Martin. It's Greenberg off the rim. Off the backboard and in. Lily to Riley had Barrett. Stolen by Greenberg, looking for some help now. Gets it out to Hedden. Up to Lilly, stops, pops. Lilly with a steal, gets, gives it to Greenberg. Nice 
almost a nice save, but it'll be Rebel Ball. Hedden with a shot. That's a three. Riley Hedden with his first points of the game. 53-20. There we go. Travel. went right out of bounds. <laughs> a little bit of a tough hop, it just whoosh, ate up uh, the player. <coughs> Barrett with a steal, layup, no good. Gets his rebound though. Martin, he goes in, there he goes. Gavin Martin with his first two points of the game. Fifty-five twenty-two, five fifty-four left in this game. Can you believe that? Martins wants to go all the way, it looks like. But they ends up losing the ball. Lily goes all the way to the basket, off the backboard. Barrett with two. 57-24, just under five minutes left in this game. And we have Mastriani going in for uh, Gavin Martin. Got a little bit shaken up when he went on the floor that time. Lily with the steal. Nice pass ahead to Barrett. Yes. Now that was pretty. That was pretty. I always like uh, like the a young player that will share the ball as far as, I mean, it, 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 the, the temptation is I can take it all the way. But, oh, that guy, has got a, he's got a better chance than I have. He's ahead of me. So I'll make the pass, let him make it. Very, very nice. Assists are very important in this game also. So, 57-26. Cougars over the Rebels. Both teams letting their, uh, their second groups out there play a lot of this, uh, this quarter. You have experience for both. Yeah. They were shooting. <laughs> Lily with two. Hidden. Well, just as well to have a travel before the pass goes bad. Four minutes left in this game, 57-28.
哇，傻王魂。I think that was even longer than an NBA three. He's strong. I've watched him since he was a dinosaur boy. <laughs> <laughs> Williams and Pelletier in the game now. Not just anyone would know what that meant. But. Mastriani with the rebound and he's charging down. Now he pulls up. Out to Pelletier. Back to Mastriani. Comes into Williams, puts it up. Through the hands, be Rebel Ball. Pelletier stops, pops. Rebound Williams, puts it up. Gavin Williams will go to the line to shoot two. 59-28, dare go. 2.46 left in this game. First one is good. And second one is good. 60 to 30. Rebound fought over by Mastriani. Possession goes to Telstar. Pelletier goes, pops. Rebel ball. Greenberg, out to Pelletier, to Mastriani. Sparks. Pass is deflected, the attempt to go into Williams. Pelletier comes up with it. Passes to Sparks, a little bit too far, can't handle it. 156 left in this game. Actually, it's only 59 to 30. They took a point away from uh, from Darago. So they're not twice as good. Rebound Sparks. They hit to Greenberg. Layup. Yes. Isaac Greenberg with his first points of the game. Sixty-one thirty-two, one twenty-eight 128 left in this game. Sparks drives. Mastriani puts it up. Williams the rebound. Sixty-one thirty-four, one twelve left in this game. There goes Sparks again. <laughs> that was a loud rejection. Williams to inbound. Sparks puts it up. It's a three. Keenan Sparks. 61-37, less than 50 seconds. Rebel ball, good defense there by the Rebels this time. Right. 
Pelletier puts up a long three. Off the rim. Rebound Williams. Sparks gets in the way of that pass, intercepts it. Ahead to Mastriani, he controls the pass there. Back to Sparks. Pass into Williams. 61-41, Rebels have cut the lead to 20. And that's the game. That's more respectable than it was. Oh yes. Okay, so unofficial scoring for the Rebels in this game. Isaac Greenberg with two, Wyatt Lilly with seven, Keenan Sparks with seven, James Mastriani with four, Gavin Martin two, Riley Hedden three, Gavin Williams 12, and Oliver Barrett four. So that wraps up this uh, middle school boys varsity game. And you have been watching Western Hills Access Television. This has been Wayne Howe and Jewel Clark bringing you this game. And we'll say goodbye for now.